Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch out our airplane wings and fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle, big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over on the other side. One last stretch, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a great day so far. We have a few things that we need to do before we move on to the calendar and weather chart. The first thing is to turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin, so I'm going to snap snap, snap them up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. Let me grab my pointing stick and we can go over the date together. Right up here at the top, we have the month. Do you remember what month it is? October. Today is October 20th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was October 19th, and today is October 20th, and up here we have the year. You can say that the year is 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Now let's take out our counting fingers. We need to warm them up and give them a little stretch. I also think that before we start counting the days, we should take a deep breath because we have quite a lot of counting to do. Let's breathe the air in through our nose and out from our mouth. Let's do that one more time. Counting fingers are ready. I have my counting stick and let's see how many days we've had in the month of October. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We've had twenty days so far in the month of October. Let's hold up seven fingers like this for the seven days of the week song. We hold up seven fingers for each one of the days of the week. And if you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound that the day starts with and you can tell me what the day is. This says that yesterday was t Tuesday. That means that today is w Wednesday. And tomorrow will be th Thursday. Let's sing today is Wednesday together. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Back up at the top of the chart, we have the season. Do you know what season it is? Fall, you're right. And another word for fall is autumn. Back down at the bottom of the chart, I have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together, and then we can talk about what we see outside of the window. 
What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today where I live, it's a mostly sunny day outside. I see a blue sky, but I do see a few thin cirrus clouds. And my temperature chart today is between light blue and orange. It's kind of chilly outside this morning, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit as the day goes on. And what do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Will you tell me the sound that this capital letter makes? Let's do that together. N. And what letter is this? N. This is an uppercase N. N says N. I have something today. It starts with the letter N, N, but it's too big to fit inside of the letter box. So I'll give you a few clues and you can guess if you think you know what it is. Here's your first clue. This is something that you write in. It's a type of a book and inside are pages. Maybe they're blank or maybe they have lines on it. You can draw or write inside of it. What's that called? This is a notebook. So notebook is a type of a book and inside are pages. If the pages are blank, you can draw in them. These pages have lines on them, so I've written a bunch of notes in it. Notebook starts with the letter N. N. This is how you write in uppercase N. N. One more time. And here is the number of the week. What double digit number is this? 21. Now, because it's a double digit number, you need to write two numbers when you write the number 21. First, you write this number, two, and then you write this number, one. Two, one. 21. Let's count to the number 21 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 21 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, one. Two tens, one unit, 21. There's one more thing to count today inside of the number box. Let's take a look and see. I have a bunch of pebbles. Now, because I have so many of them, I'm going to make two rows. And let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, let's make the second row. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and one more makes 21. 21 pebbles. We've got over the letter of the week and the number of the week. So now let's move on to the side of the week. This week I showed you how to say science in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. Do you remember how to say science? Like this. Science. Today we are going to focus on people who are experts on specific areas of science. A scientist is someone who gathers information 
and research on a specific area. There are many different kinds of scientists, so let's learn about a few of them. An astronomer is a scientist who studies the stars, outer space, and planets. Astronomers use a tool called a telescope, which allows them to see things that are very far away. A paleontologist is a scientist who studies life that existed very long ago. For example, paleontologists look at fossils to learn about dinosaurs. A botanist is a scientist who studies plants. Botanists often use a tool called a microscope to look closely at plants. And an aerospace engineer is a scientist who studies and builds rockets and spacecraft. Speaking of rockets, let's go build our own. For today's work, you will need a long piece of string, a straw, a balloon, and some tape. The first thing that I did was tie one end of the string to a tree like this, and then I pushed the string in through the straw so that it's hanging down, and then I tied the other end of the string to another tree. But this work can also be done inside. So now that I have my straw hanging from the string, I have my balloon right here, which I blew up, but I did not tie it up like this. I'm just holding it with my fingers to prevent any air from escaping. I have some pieces of tape right here, which I've already broken off, and I'm going to attach the balloon to the straw by taping it like this. I would say that the trickiest part of setting up this work is trying to do it without having any air escape from the balloon. So if you have an extra hand or if you can ask a grown-up or a friend to help you set it up while one person holds the balloon, I recommend doing so. But it looks like we have our balloon rocket attached to the straw. So now all we have to do is let go. And let's count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Let's get back to Welcome circle time. back to circle time, friends. I hope you enjoy being an aerospace engineer or a rocket scientist for the day. Thanks for learning with me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. At this time, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring services as well as curriculum development, so feel free to reach out for any information. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.